Welcome to Hysterix. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating historical stories. In the early 1940s, amidst global conflict, the Douglas XB-19 emerged not as a weapon of war, but as a pioneer of aviation innovation. The largest bomber ever built for the United States Army Air Corps at the time, its remarkable size and incredible range laid the groundwork for the future of long-range bombing missions. Originally named XBLR-2, the XB-19 was born in the mid-1930s from ambitious plans to test the limits of aircraft engineering. Built by the Douglas Aircraft Company, its first flight on June 27, 1941, captivated aviation enthusiasts nationwide. Its main purpose was not combat, but exploration, testing aerodynamics, structural strength, and new propulsion systems to help create future bombers. This colossal plane carried a crew of 16, spanning 132 feet in length, with a wingspan of 212 feet, longer than a modern Boeing 747. Powered by four Wright R3350 engines, each boasting 360 horsepower, 2,200 horsepower, the XB-19 could reach a top speed of 224 miles per hour, climbing steadily to a maximum altitude of 39,000 feet. Armed heavily for defense, it carried eight machine guns, two cannons, and nearly 19,000 pounds of bombs. While designed as a heavy bomber, the XB-19 never saw combat. Its true battlefield was testing fields and open skies, pushing aviation technology forward. Despite its powerful armament and unprecedented range, its slow speed and large size made it vulnerable to enemy fighters. By the time it flew, aviation technology had already begun to surpass it. One gripping moment in its history came in 1942, during high-altitude engine tests above California. At over 30,000 feet, one of the XB-19's massive engines failed unexpectedly, causing the plane to plummet rapidly. Led by legendary test pilot Carl Cover, the crew faced a life-or-death decision, attempt an emergency landing, or try restarting the failing engine mid-air. With no suitable landing area nearby, the crew worked desperately against the clock. At 10,000 feet, after an intense and nerve-wracking 15 minutes, the crew successfully restarted the engine, safely guiding the XB-19 back to base. This real-life incident provided crucial insights into handling large aircraft emergencies, significantly influencing future bomber safety. Only one prototype of the XB-19 was ever completed, later upgraded into the XB-19A with improved Allison engines. Although these engines offered better performance, the aircraft remained impractical for mass production. Retired in 1943 and scrapped in 1949, the XB-19 nonetheless left a lasting legacy. It paved the way for legendary bombers, such as the Boeing B-29 Superfortress, and influenced critical advancements in aircraft design, maintenance logistics, and combat strategy. Today, while no complete XB-19 survives, its blueprint lives on echoed in the generations of bombers it inspired. Did you know that at its creation, the XB-19 was the largest aircraft ever built in America? Its wingspan even exceeded that of a modern-day Boeing 747. Fondly nicknamed the Gentle Giant, the XB-19 fascinated the public and even inspired elements of Hollywood cinema, though it never directly featured in films. Although the Douglas XB-19 never fought in battles, its role as a technological pioneer was undeniable. By testing the limits of what was possible, it directly influenced the bombers that would shape history. The gentle giant may no longer fly, but its legacy still echoes through aviation history. Support us on Patreon for more historical reenactments and content. Link in the description. 
thanks for watching Hysterix, and we'll see you in our next flight through history.